What's up guys, Max Maxworks here, and I want to welcome you guys to our new project build. Uh, the car that I'm leaning on right now is a 94 BMW 325i convertible with a uh, 5 speed manual box. Um, it's an E36, it's an early E36, uh, and so before you guys knew me here on YouTube, uh, going way back when, I was a BMW guy, uh, I raced E46s, E30s. Um, if you search my old username, you'll find the, the, the bones of what became this channel, all of the DIYs and all kinds of custom work and engine swaps and whatnot, uh, back in the day were documented in photos and forum posts and that's kind of how everybody uh, figured out how to do stuff, kind of in the, not really pre-YouTube days, but, but a little bit before, before I got involved with all of this. And uh, for the last five years I've been basically BMW-less ever since I came to Austin because uh, I had trucks and I needed the truck to work and I couldn't really afford to have two vehicles and then this thing popped up and I actually got this car for about $1,100 because I traded uh, a motorcycle that I bought for it and I'm super excited this car only has 120,000 miles it's super super clean in terms of the mechanicals it runs and drives it's got AC I'm very, very happy with getting this car, and it puts a giant grin on my face driving around. I've, I've forgotten how much I've missed having, you know, a, a German uh, sports saloon, if you will. And I've never had a convertible before. So, this is Project eBay E36, and the reason I'm going to call it that is because the plan is, I have about 1100 bucks in this car right now. I want to spend about $1,200 total um, as a budget which will give me like a $2,300, $2,400 E36. Um, and this car is worth probably around $3,000 here in Austin uh, in the condition it's in right now. So I'm well ahead of the game and I want something that I can daily drive. This car has air conditioning, uh, the top doesn't leak, and the drivetrain feels like it's in really, really good shape. So we're gonna do a bunch of little modifications to give it a little more attitude because it is severely lacking in attitude and I can't be driving around in a green convertible with a beige interior with no attitude. It's got to it's gotta have some attitude. So <clears throat> that is what we're going to be working towards. The other thing is um, I'm going to be sourcing all the stuff online and when you're building BMWs, if anybody's ever been part of the BMW community knows that they're a, they're a finicky bunch. Like you got to spend fucking two thousand dollars on coilovers man because like that's the brand and, and all this other nonsense here's the thing this is an e36 convertible with a two and a half liter engine this is not a fast car this will never set any sort of track records uh i'm gonna daily drive it this thing will never ever see a racetrack ever and as a result there are some liberties basically that we can take and not have to buy two thousand dollars worth of suspension for it because it doesn't need it but uh, the sock suspension is blown. We are going to get some eBay coilovers and we're going to lower this thing down a little bit. We're not going to slam the shit out of it because I want to be able to daily drive it. We're going to get some good wheels. We're going to put uh, some tunes in it because right now it doesn't have a stereo. Um, and we're going to do a whole bunch of little, little custom mods and custom touches basically to make this a more fun driver's car. And so this is the first video to kind of let you guys know what we're doing and how we're going to do it. And in this video, I need to give this thing a good detail. It's a little grody. But for the price I paid, I'm pretty happy with it, right? Uh, you can get a little grody when, when you're buying a car for a thousand bucks. So <clears throat> I'm super excited. I've already been driving this thing a little bit. It just, it hums down the highway. All the electronics work. Even the onboard computer still works. Um, I do need to fix uh, a few small things before we can get it uh, inspected and registered. But for now, I got a paper plate on it so I can drive it around. And it's nasty. So let's clean it. So there we go. Um, whole interior is stripped out. Nothing really too complicated. Uh, a bunch of four bolts to remove the seats and a bunch of little screws and stuff to just remove the trim panels. So, as you can see, it definitely does leak a little bit, um, but now we got the shop back out here. We're going to basically just go through and clean everything as best we can, wipe everything down. I don't care if you're rocking a million dollar hypercar or a thousand dollar BMW. The one thing every car enthusiast can afford 
is clean. Obviously, still a 25 year old BMW, but now it's more like a 12 year old BMW. So while we got everything apart, and it's a beautiful sunshiny day, before we jump to washing and doing some other detailing stuff, the problem with this car primarily is that the top is basically manual only. Unfortunately, with an automatic top, this tonneau cover is supposed to suck itself down with a motor. That motor's busted, all the motors are busted, all the cables don't fucking hook up anymore. Somebody tried to fix it, they failed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this eventually to a manual top with manual latches that basically has a, a manual release inside. It's a much simpler system, it's much easier. And this car, it's a little more difficult than a Miata to put the top up and down, but not a whole lot. And for me, I'd rather have a manual top that works properly than all this broken heavy shit in the trunk. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take out all of the motors and all the cables and everything we don't need anymore. We're gonna set it aside in a pile and then we're probably gonna end up having to reuse some of it to cobble together our, um, our uh, manual version. So here's our empty trunk. Vacuum this out real quick so we can just start yanking stuff out. There we go. So we got everything cleaned up out of the way. Uh, took a vacuum to it. There's a cover panel over here that covers this area. I don't really know what that was for, um, but got rid of that. So see all these electric motors and stuff? We got to pull all of this out um, without pulling out anything that we don't need to pull out. Because I don't, I don't need this weight back here, and uh, none of these motors really do anything anymore. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this. This is power antenna. Um, it's broken, and we are going to plug that, and uh, uh, we're not going to use it. I don't want to listen to the radio. Um, and then with this car came from the factory with a uh, CD changer back here. We're going to wrap up those wires and tuck them up out of the way and zip tie everything. All right. Motors are out, wasn't too, too bad, and mostly just some bolts figuring out where they go through. Here's the junk we pulled out of there. Uh, there's the antenna, one motor, two motor, control arm. Um, this we're going to hang on to because we might end up using it as a release, but I took it out for now. And we're going to leave the uh, the cables intact still, but you can see all this stuff is out. Next thing we got to do is we got to clean out under here. And then I think we're ready to start reassembling this thing. Well, about 35 minutes later, we got all the trunk interior back. It's clean. There we go. All the interior pieces are back in. So as you can see, the leather cleaned up really, really nicely. At least I think it did. Um, considering what it is, the whole car is really clean. Now, this thing is grody. We're going to replace it in an upcoming episode. And so I didn't even bother cleaning it. Not a big deal. So the interior is done. I'm going to leave it open here uh, in the sun so it can breathe a little bit, get some of that chemical smell out of there. And Now we're going to turn our attention to the front. Now these headlight lenses have seen better days, especially the one on the left. So what we're going to do is clean them up a little bit with uh, some, uh, some compound and some polish and uh, maybe even a little sandpaper on the left hand side. So we need to have good light. So there it is. That's a light 1500 grit uh, wet sand and uh, 3M rubbing compound. Uh, it doesn't say normally rubbing compounds like two and a half thousand, two thousand grit, something like that. So there are completed headlights. Give it one more round of polish on each side. Came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. So that's a wrap on episode one. She's all clean. We got the top a little bit more sorted out. A couple things crept up. So. We're getting, after washing, I found a little bit of water in that under that tonneau compartment, and so I gotta figure out how that's supposed to drain correctly, because right now it's just draining into the trunk, which is no good. But all in all, after washing it, it, it really only got like a little bit of water in there, so I'm pretty sure it's something that I can fix uh, without, without too, much of a, too much of a pain in the butt. The interior is clean, the car smells so much better now, and um, I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's a, it's a good looking car, I really like the green. I think it's, it's a unique, you see a lot of silver, black, white BMWs. You don't see too many of the green ones. The green and red is the most rare and I'm not a huge fan of the red. So that said, I'm Max, this is MaxWorks. If you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. Check it out, this car's gonna have its own playlist. I'll link down in the doobly-doo. 
uh, so you can see all of the videos that are going to be basically as they're posted they'll be added to the playlist so you guys can find them um, I got a bunch of stuff on order it'll be here in the next week or so and so there'll be another video um, with me just kind of installing uh, we might do a few videos where it's specific to uh, to like like a DIY like here's how you do this but mostly it's just gonna be like okay we're gonna do this 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 and this today and just knock it out and I'll just show you guys how it looks in the videos and how it works so I'm excited I really like driving this car I hope you guys like watching these videos peace